All right, we are back with expert antiques appraiser Dr. Lori to look at a few more items sent in by you, our viewers. And we just had Mickey Mouse. Now we're mm -hmm. on to Winnie the Pooh. This is sent in by Jeff. Tell us about this. Yeah, so this piece is Eeyore with, of course, Christopher Robin from Winnie the Pooh. It's an animation cell. Um, this particular animation cell is one of the marketed reproduction cells, so it is not used during the actual animated series. And that's one of the things that people have to be aware of. So they take the one that was used and then they replicate it. And then, uh, in fact, they will um, they will then market those and sell those off. You might have seen those if you're at, you know, uh, a Walt Disney Park or, or other places online. Is it numbered? Like, do we know how many of these exist? Or, like, many, many, many exist? Many, many, many. Probably mm. tens of thousands of them exist. However, oh, okay. when you have those that are used in the actual production of the animated feature, then there's usually a very low number of those. So these are probably more than 10,000 were probably produced. You know, how do you know, because just being at Disney, it's their 50th anniversary, so they're selling all kinds yeah. of memorabilia for that. But you wonder if it's actually going to hold value because they're selling so much of it. Well, that's absolutely true. So whenever, you know, you have so much supply, of course, you start to see the pieces go down or the values go down. So that's one of the things. But usually, you know, a big name like Walt Disney, well-established company, usually those pieces hold value. Historically, they have held value. So when someone like me looks at the patterns of collecting and how pieces will increase in value, you know, this is usually a pretty good investment. Okay, hmm. let me just change one of my numbers, just yeah, a little I, bit. <laughs> you know what, I'm changing one of my numbers too. Okay, what'd you say? I said $95. I said 55. Three hundred and fifty dollars for that one. No kidding. Stop it, Doctor Lori. Let us think because it wasn't one of the actual cells. It wasn't worth that much. The ones that are actually utilized in the animated feature, I've appraised them upwards of nine to fifteen thousand dollars oh! for a particular one. Holy smokes! Oh, Doctor Lori. All right. I don't even know what noise I just made. Can, you what made a noise that? though. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the alligator thing I gave you. <laughs> okay. Same next, <laughs> next up, we have a luncheon set from Marilyn. This is a luncheon set. Whenever I see these sets, I think of, of First Lady Jackie Kennedy. Every single time, I don't know why, she pops into my head drinking from the teacup. These are luncheon sets from the 1950s and 60s. So you could use them for high tea, a little scone and some tea, or maybe a little, you know, cucumber sandwich with the edges cut off, that the crust cut off, <laughs> hand painted porcelain. Um, it's a set of six, so she has six okay. cups and six of these plates, and then there's a little area right there, an indentation, so the plate actually adds as a, as a saucer, but you know, you don't want to spill your tea in front of those ladies when you're drinking with Jackie Kennedy, you know. No, <laughs> no, no, and you need to put your little finger up, I think, too, but that's what that's I was going right. to ask, like, it, so it does have an indentation there to hold the cup in place. It does, just like a saucer. Um, this one looks like a little scallop shell. You can see, you can even hand, there's a little handle mm -hmm. at the bottom, at the end of the plate. It is porcelain, it's hand painted, and it also has some gilding details. So a little bit of gold leaf on it as well. You're trying to guess for the set of six cups with saucers. I feel like China is coming back too. China is huge, huge, and really, really expensive. Very, very collectible and expensive. Don't, the, don't, the David. She, I Kristen only just had one number to guess. Down. Well, but she said that it's huge, huge. Huge. So, okay. All right, go ahead. Three hundred dollars. I said two hundred. Two, yeah, two hundred. Two hundred dollars is the value for the set uh, for the set of six. Okay. What was your first guess? Yeah. It started with a two. Oh. So it would have been closer, but it wasn't going to be two hundred. I still okay. would have had it wrong. <laughs> right. All right, so we're tied right now, and we're moving into the the, the the end here with a clown painting from Michelle. So tell us about this. Okay, so now you're calling it a painting, and it looks like a painting, but it's something called an oleograph. So remember when mom said, pass me the oleo, she wanted the fake butter? Right. This is, a, this is an oleograph, it's a fake painting. So basically, it is a reproduction of, of the painting by, by Red Skelton of the clown. It's called Freddy the Clown in the Tub. It is also framed. So they print it onto the piece of canvas and then they go back and they highlight a little bit, but the whole thing is not an original painting. Mm -hmm. So that's the trick on this one. Now the painting itself is that done by, a, I don't know much about the 
the painting. Red, Red Skelton is the artist. Uh -huh. And Red Skelton was very well known as an actor and a painter and also was oftentimes depicted as a clown. But he goes right. way back, well before all of our time, you know? Right. Mm. Yeah, I only vaguely had ever heard of him. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have heard of him? Well, of course I have, yeah. I was just pretending that I hadn't really heard of him. <laughs> but. <laughs> Okay. All right, I have no idea. I really don't. All right. I said $75. I said $175. $150 is what it's worth. All right, David takes the win. Oh, David's not very good at math because I thought you won. Okay. $150. <laughs> so I'm $25 away. All right, I <laughs> did win. All right, I won, everybody. I won. <laughs> I stopped because then I had, no, I had no idea. All right, thank you to everyone. <laughs> thank you to Dr. The calculator. Lori. So much fun. You can send You're welcome. Bye, your, Dr. Lori. your pictures in to us. Email them at ptl at kdka.com. Maybe yours will be selected for next week's segment with Dr. Lori. That was a lot of fun. I always like <laughs> it. So yeah.